Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Levi Dam here, and uh, I want to go over the pirouette punch, 1 plus 2, into Hitman. It's very interesting because this is a transition that gives us a lot of... Um, it gives us a, a much easier time converting into juggles because it doesn't require crouch canceling, which is really good. And um, I just wanted to test out some other things uh, with going into Hitman that could be nice. It could be nice. Now, I've got the computer set on doing some random things after 1 plus 2 into Hitman, just so we can see how it works. I've got Katarina because she has a super long range launcher with 4423. So, we're going to test sidestepping, we're going to test the power crush, we're going to test uh, poison touch, and we're going to do this on block because even though 1 plus 2 in the Hitman is minus 4 on block, you know, unless you're sidestepping, I don't think you have a whole lot of options. Um, you really got a plan. Now on Hit, there's a few things that are interruptible. Like uh, Hitman 1 plus 2, you can't interrupt that. Uh, the Freaker Jabs or Hitman 1 4, you can't interrupt those either. So on Hit, you know, you got plenty of time. And with them being on the defense, you also have the opportunity where you may be able to get slide mix-ups and whatnot. But uh, let's go ahead and go full screen. And um, after this, we're going to switch. And I'm going to talk about some other stuff. All right, let's see. And I'm just going to try to 4-4-2 for this. Okay. Okay. I... Oh, okay. Okay. And the reason I'm trying this is because it's a 13 frame launcher. So we're looking similarly to what would happen if you were competing against electric. And uh, actually, it's a little bit more difficult than I thought. Now he stepped into that one. All right, so. If you step to the wrong side, you can get eight up. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go to jabs. See, jabs all day long. Doesn't matter what you're doing with jabs, you're getting hit. So you, you've got to be careful because you don't have advantage on block. Not at all. Okay, let's see if we do a bigger move. Okay, she ducked that. Very nice. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's great. All right, that was slide. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. See, so it's a really mixed bag. And then I just learned this... So as you can see, there's not a whole bunch going on right now. Now we're gonna switch. We're gonna switch these off. And 
And the only one we're going to record is... Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's get back here and see. Let's see how these do. So as you see, you still, you know, we're still at disadvantage on block. Let's see if he try. Let's see if she tries something else. So stopping the hop kick. All right. So stopping the hop kick. So stopping four four two four. Oh, I was too slow the first time. Maybe. Yep. So it's making four four two four crapshoot. Got to really be on top of it. Yeah. And now we're going to switch it up real quick. We're going to switch it up real quick and we're just going to go over. The counter hit juggle because the counter hit juggle was really important too, as in it allows you to easily convert because you don't have to worry about crouch canceling. So I know that's something that it's been in the game for a very long time, and you've always had to crouch cancel. But you know, part of what happened to Lee is that a lot of stuff got the ease of use deal, so he became easier to work with. So that's that's part of what happened with him. So yeah, I mean, that's really all I've got for one plus two in the Hitman. Um, it's definitely something that can you can work it into the mix. Main purpose is gonna be it makes combos a lot easier, which is great, but we don't really get super solid mix-ups from it. We still have to work. Um, we can mix in ducking and going into slide, going into our while standing, mix-ups because once we make them realize hey jabbing is not the answer because I can duck and infinite kicks you or I can slide then you know it's gonna open up the depth a little bit more but you're still gonna have to be very creative with it and I'm a fan I like it I think it's great 
I like that it makes combos easier, and I like having a safe way to go into Hitman because it's homing on counter hit, you get a combo on block, you're safe, so you can figure out something to do with Lee's Hitman sidestep, or you can just block. You can just get them thinking that they're gonna have an offense, and then later on you just flip it on them, which is always great. But let me know what you think of this move in the comments below. Um, I like the transition. Um, it's not the godsend that I originally hoped it would be, but you know, that's Lee. He doesn't have godsends. He works and he plays Tekken and he wins because you know how to play Tekken, which I really like that and I really appreciate it. And so be sure to subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate you coming by as usual. Hope you're having a great day. I'm having an amazing day and I'm really happy that you're coming by to check me out. And so until next time, this is Lee Van Dam. You guys take care. God bless. I'll see you later.